Rose, before we go any further, you have brought your interpreter, Toby, with you. Yeah, Toby. Um, last time you saw me, though, I had an interpreter because you came to one of my stand-up shows. Yes, I did. I came to your show about four or five years ago. Yeah. And you actually spoke to me in the audience. And, um, but I was so shocked that you were talking to me, I couldn't understand what you were saying. So I was standing to my um, boyfriend next to me and we started panicking. And then you were like, oh, it's a bit awkward, them two having an argument, and everyone started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Sorry. I remember that. <laughs> I meant to say, but, uh, but uh, when Rose came out, we, we gave a round of applause, but there is a thing, if, normally if you see a deaf performer, don't applaud, because they can't hear. What you do is you raise your hands in the air. Yeah. Your fingers, so, there you go. Deaf that, round of applause just for Just to let you know, that is a big round of applause from me <laughs> still. Quite, quite <laughs> It's not like a soap oh. clap. <laughs> <laughs> but we were talking before the show because there are, there are some signs for different countries. Like, we've already talked about Australia, but the sign for... Australia. D no. <laughs> That's the actual sign language sign for Australia. Yeah, some people say you could do with kangaroo, but I like to think it. You pick them up from the UK and you drop them in your face. You know what? There's one Australian sign that I wasn't going to bust out, but I am now. It's this. <laughs> it means fuck you, fuck the lot of you. <laughs> I've never seen that one before. <laughs> That's, oh. good. That's good. <laughs> um, and, of course, you're on Strictly at the moment. Bill, as, as someone who won Strictly last time, do you have any advice for Rose? Yeah, I just said, uh, you know, we were just talking before, you know, you're doing great. I can't... There's nothing I can teach you. Carry on doing what you're doing. Really? You're doing fantastically well. I think Rose is going to win. That's oh. what I reckon. So do I. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, thank you, Rose. Well, but, but, first of all, I have to do the dine every week. Yeah. But will you hand over the crown? Uh, no, right at the last minute, you know. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll be clinging on to it like. Okay. Yeah. No. Do you know what? Uh, I think the thing is, you just have to have fun over the next few weeks. Yeah. The dance, you pick up some more tips as you go, and just enjoy it. You know, it's it's such a it's a mad ride, but it's fun. It's great fun, and uh, you know, listen to Giovanni. I know he's uh, sometimes difficult, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now... The lidded, the lidded come out every now and then. I, I call him the lidded because. Did you? The lidded. Yeah. A lizard. Oh. Yeah, because um sometimes he's nice and calm, and then if I make a mistake, his face changes to a lidded, and you go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But thank you. No, you're gonna be, you're gonna do great. Thank you. I'm enjoying it so much. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, I can tell you're having great fun. Yeah. No. Rose, why don't you need a sign interpreter for Bill? I don't know. I feel weird. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I'm just very You're expressive magic. with my body. Yeah. It's the it's universal the language of Strictly. That's yeah. What it is. <laughs> <laughs> the eye have turned into a dancer. Yeah. <laughs>